Okay, so I don't have the best lighting in my garage, but I wanted to show you all the fit and finish on the Retrax Pro MX. You look, it's got a nice flat seal on top of the Ram box. Um, gonna have to do a little bit more sealing right here, just two pieces of weather strip probably to seal that off. But it's got a nice tailgate seal. Oh yeah, my 22s have that nice light. It does provide a little bit better backup. Um, like I said, this is the Retrax. They call it the Protrax MX. Again, this side, you can see in there just a little bit. Gonna have to add a little bit of weather strip to it. But overall, I really like the way this one fits to the top of the bed. It looks like it's not gonna leak very much. I went to the car wash today and didn't see much water in the inside. Um, it does have a canister up front. This canister is not too big, but it only opens to about this far. We're gonna open it for you. I'll let you look at that. You've got a remote here. You just hold the button. So that's all the way open. And guys, that's almost a foot from the front to right there at the, to the tip of the deal. So it does take up some bed space. You know, I've ran the back flips before. The back flips, you know, you can flip them up against the cab. You get the full use of the bed. So some pros and cons. This one, I mean, I've got the, I've got the LED bed lighting in this truck anyway, you know, which is right here. You can push this button, your cargo light comes on and all that, but with this Retrax, if you don't have the bed lighting, one thing nice is it comes with the light button on the remote. So you can turn that on and off also. Um, it moves really well. It's a little tight and it'll loosen up over time. But you know, the only thing, like when you lift the Ram boxes, you can see how the seal is so tight. It doesn't just flip all the way open, which is fine. You can push them up and they will go open, but it is opening against that seal, but you can see that seal springs right back down on top of it, which is really nice. So anyway, just wanted to do a quick review of it and kind of get you, let you look at it. I know a couple have asked. Now when you go to close it, put your remote, runs all the way up here to the edge, and you're closed up. It does lock, you know, whenever you let off that remote, you know, if you open it a foot like that and you let it off, it's locked. I mean, it'll move a little bit, but it's not gonna move a lot. That's kind of where it's gonna stay. So the nice thing is if you got gas cans with spouts or something like that, you can definitely run it up to the spouts and just leave it against it. It's not gonna hurt anything. So anyway, I wanna thank you for watching the video. Please hit that like and subscribe on the bottom corner. We'll catch you on the next one.